Okay, so let's do a couple of equivalent resistance problems. Um, we've talked about circuits before, and um, so when you look at this, you can identify that this is a series circuit because the current that comes out of the battery or the voltage supply has to flow through all the components, right? So that's a series circuit. So to determine the equivalent resistance for this circuit, um, since they're all in series, we use the formula R1 plus R2 plus R3. So the equivalent resistance is going to be 820 ohms plus, all right, 1.2 kilo ohms is Kilo is times 10 to the third, 1.2 times 10 to the third, so that would be 1,200 ohms, plus 150 ohms. Okay. So now I add those up in my calculator. And I get that the equivalent resistance is 1,370 ohms. Or if I wanted to write that as kilo ohms, I would move the decimal three places. One, two, three. And it would be 1.37 kilo ohms. All right. Let's look at one more example. Here we have... Um, four resistors, so we're going to, and they're still all in series, right, because the current flowing in this circuit has to, all the current is the same flowing through every component, so the equivalent resistance is going to be the sum of those. Four hundred and seventy ohms plus Okay, 3.9K, that's 3.9 times 10 to the third, or that would be 3,900 ohms, plus 4,700 ohms, plus 1,800 ohms. Alright, and the equivalent resistance is going to be then, we'll just add those up. So that, that last little bit got cut off, but you see when you add them up, you get 10,870 or 10.87 kilo ohms. Hope that helps.